Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. I thought I'd do a little video real quick, well this might end up long, about these Vortec heads. Now, if you go back and watch my previous videos, I have talked about this head at least twice. I did a whole write-up or video on this, and this is being the uh, Speedmaster, aka Pro Comp, Vortec cast iron head. Now, many of you know I don't port cast iron, but here they are. Now, in a previous video, when I took a set of um, 906s and had a 3 angle valve job we did on them, this one actually has a 5 angle, so I'm going to show you real quick, because some things are going to get modified from this. So I'm trying to hold down here real quick. Now, so let's just go through them. There's one, that's the top cut, there's your seat, two, three, four, and this bottom one's five. This is a five angle valve job as compared to the last one, which only was three, but really because there was material left here, it made it look like it was four. Now, the reason why I don't really do the five angles on heads that I don't pour is because of this. Whenever I do the valve job, you see this ring that gets here. This is leftover material because it's cutting more aggressive. In other words, it's opening up this throat area much larger, and this has to be ground out. Now, since I don't pour cast iron heads, I'm going to warn you, when this is done, it's not gonna look pretty all. All I'm doing is grinding out this lip right here. It goes all the way around it, so as you can tell on this side as well. Then, on the exhaust side, this isn't from my cutter. This is a radius on the exhaust. This was from the factory. This step right here is going to kill flow, so I'm just on just the short side going to round this corner. That's all I'm going to do on that. So taking off this and rounding that. And one more thing on the chamber itself, right there. This is where the top cup ends. Let me just go to the spot where maybe there's some light. There we go. This is where the top cup cut ends, and you can see it leaves a ridge. I'm just going to get this spot out, make it a nice um, little radius through right through here, and that's it. So is that a full pour job like bad to the bone stuff? No, but I want to show you that because that's what's going to end up happening, and that's some real good stuff you're going to do. Then I'm going to clean it up and flow it. Now remember the stock from the factory, they flow 209. Maybe we can get them up to at least match the stock Vortec heads. All right, on to grinding. Here are the Vortec heads. I thought I'd show you this view. It's probably easier to see. Like I said, I didn't do really that much to it, but we'll see if it made any difference. These are these Speedmaster Vortec heads, so they're not great anyway. But um, anyway, this is a five angle valve job now, but some of them are gone because I blended it in. It left a ledge there, and now you can see the finished product and it's gone. Let me get a little flashlight going. There we go. So you can tell part of it's gone, this being the seat. So uh, you got an undercut. Boy, this light's messing it up. Undercut, undercut, seat, top cut. So this actually might be the seat, sorry. Uh, and then top cut. But um, you can tell this is all I've done is just blend right there. And that's not even like a great job because these ports are more square. It's just kind of showing you. There's a lot of stuff to improve, but I'm not doing it. The other thing I did do is on this chamber right here this got blended out because there was a nasty ledge left there it was going to hurt flow and also there's a radius valve job on the exhaust and i just blended that side in this side's fine so just this one we'll see if it makes a difference in flow it should it only flowed 209 before i think so we'll see how good it is now here are the results of before and after on that vortex head so this is stock and this is the valve job and just blending in the back part of the valve job and the short side on the exhaust if you look, it's a piece of junk to start off with. It flows peak at 211. Now it flows peak at 214. It's still not that great. All this work to make it flow just about what a stock Vortec head is. Actually, I think stock Vortec head, Vortec head's still better. If you notice, it only gains like four there, five there, about five. You get the idea. About five CFM you'd say on the intake side. And that's because it's got bigger restrictions with the guide and everything else. It needs some heavier duty grinding. However, the exhaust really picked up. So if you look, it gained eight there, quite a bit there, almost 20 CFM, almost the whole way. So the exhaust made a much bigger gain than the intake. Um, intake really needs some work. You need to be doing some major grinding to make these match a stock Vortec head, which is pretty sad. But anyway, there you go. You guys take care.